we had some extra funds and we wanted to spruce up the library because it was kind of like a storage unit, you know, it wasn't very welcoming and it wasn't a place where people wanted to come and relax and read and meet and it was just kind of a place to come and check out books and go back to your classrooms and so um, we decided as a PTO project we would up update the library. They gave me a lot of freedom. I mean, honestly, it was mostly my ideas. They kind of just let me run with it. And, um, you know, a lot of the stuff I put in there is stuff that I used to read when I was a kid. Like, Calvin Hobbes was, like, one of my favorite, and Shel Silverstein. Um, so a lot of it was just stuff that I connected with when I was a kid and stuff I would read when I was in elementary school. We chatted with teachers, too, and okay. got lists of books that they liked and enjoy reading to their students. Just being able to watch it on a daily basis and even come, you know, sometimes he would work uh, uh, on weekends or whatever, so I'd let him in the school and get to watch him a little bit there. So it was kind of, it was just a neat process for me just to see how he did it. And it's like, how is this gonna come together? And then it's like, wow. Regularly you're in your studio and people don't get to see kind of the process or the, or how things are coming along so it's cool to have people especially kids like they'd have no filter and they're not worried about hurting your feelings or anything so, so they'll tell you when they see something that they want in there or something so it's refreshing to like have that i'm retiring this year but uh, it's kind of neat to know that you know i'm leaving and and that's going to still be here it's fun when someone gives you that much space to kind of just go at it